Today's project was a much larger one. I'd been wanting to do a fantasy scene for a while, but was a bit stuck on getting the inspiration. So I tried to come up with a very simple idea to get a feel for the scene and settled on a piece of enchanted jewellery. Stick around till the end of the video to see the final piece. I went onto Unsplash and began looking for references. I find a picture of a man looking at his phone, so that gave me the angle I needed. It just needed a few changes to the hand pose. And I had a nice looking alley shot that I find a few days ago when looking for inspiration for a separate piece. I particularly liked the glow of the light in the background, which I felt gave it a more mysterious vibe. I cut out our guy and stuck him on top of the background and inverted parts of his shading so that it put a glow on his face and around his hand, coming from the jewellery, which I also got some reference images for. I sketched in the overall shapes and pose first, and then turned my attention to the armor our guy would be wearing. I had a look at a few pictures of leather armor to get an idea of how I wanted it to look, and then began sketching it in.
Then came the coloring. I colored this one in entirely with the brush tool rather than resorting to the fill tool so I could make sure there were no white lines where the fill tool didn't go right up to the edge of the line art. I grouped the elf's colors and outline into their own group to help with sorting and to stop the layers panel from becoming too overcrowded.
Then it was time for highlighting and shading. I began with the shading on the elf using the reference image as a guide for the wrinkles on his shirt. I then turned my attention to adding in the green light coming off the amulet. I used a screen layer to have the green light lighten wherever it covered. After working my way through shading the elf, I moved on to the background, starting with the pavement. I was looking at the background in sections, finishing one bit before moving on to the next and using a mixture of multiply, screen, and normal blend modes to get the color effects I wanted. I had all the lighting and shading on separate layers so I could go back in and edit the base colors if need be.
The most fun part for me was adding in the lighting effects, both on the elf and in the background. There's a kind of satisfaction to getting them to look how you want them to. Once the shading was done, I added in a dark shadow to the right side of our character to have them partially in shadow to add to the mystery, and added a little extra lighting to the lower half of his face. It was also around then I decided I wasn't happy with the mouth, so had to go at altering the shape until it looked more like how I wanted it to. And with that, I was done. Let's have a look at the final piece. 